turning me against the wall! <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? I learned this strategy fighting an old man. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. All right, different strategy. <laughs> okay, running slightly to the right didn't work. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I was gonna try and hit it with the boomerang, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, 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 what do we have here? Now who's the BMO? The BMO? Oh! Yeah, isn't that... Yeah, I, that is, I think, what they're called, but my instinct was the bank. <laughs> so I was like, what does the BMO bank have to do with this? Well, now, now who's the BMO center on Stampede Crackers? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the boomerang works on him. I mean, it's, it stopped it before. I don't think it stopped it, I think you were just faster. Okay. Well, now. What about a bomb? Oh, maybe. Oh! He's only only vulnerable when his thing is out. So I think you gotta like throw a bomb and then like bait him so that the bomb explodes while he's out. Oh, okay. Well, I got him. <laughs> nope, that didn't work. <laughs> what's what's in the path right behind you? The little like, hole in the floor? Oh, I didn't even realize that oh, was Oh, is a it hole. just death? Yeah, it's just death. Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe the boomerang is what you do, but you gotta have him out. Maybe. I can only, like, actually avoid it by rolling. I can't use the boomerang when I'm rolling. I wonder if maybe... Nope. <laughs> I thought that'd block it. Okay. What if... Can you, like, hopscotch the statues across? Like, toss it, and then, like, roll out behind it, and then... Maybe... I've got another idea. I thought... Yeah, I thought that... I thought that stunned it before, but... Well... I know you can kill those, at least in other games, with the bow and arrow. Hmm. See, so yeah, I don't know. I just have to... Yeah, except those don't block it. If you just don't stop running, aren't you faster than it? If you do, like, a circle? Like a wide berth circle? <laughs> oh, fucking rat! <laughs> Rats! No, it's like, it, if you don't kind of, like, roll in there, at least from what I can tell, it just gets you right away. But that's if you, like, stand at the entrance to it or something, right? You know, like, even if you step in there. Because that's what I was trying to do earlier with, like, the boomerang. I feel like you're faster than the laser if you just don't stop running, but you give it, like, a wide berth. Hmm. Like, if you run straight towards it, then it'll hit you? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> okay, so I guess I just have to, like, really hug the wall. Let me pick it up, you piece of shit. 
No. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> One. <laughs> and it only took three and a half hours. <laughs> oh, no, because I respawned with three, don't I? Yeah. Apparently he has cataracts. <laughs> that blue potion, I think, will still heal your he your hearts. Mm. If you do want to drink it. Let's see how this treats us. This is fun for me because I don't, like, remember this game mm. really well, so I'm kind of just... Like, I remember this room. I don't remember what you do in this room. <laughs> Whereas in Twilight Princess, the reason why I would beat every dungeon so fast compared to you is because it's just muscle memory at that point. Yeah. Are you guys, are you trying to get into Numeria? <laughs> Is this the lost city? <gasps> but what about the birds with their maps? Oh, there are stairs up there. If I remember right, where you're standing will become the, like, entrance to the boss room. Okay. I remember there's something you do with statues in this room. Yeah, yeah, because I see, like, where I have to put it. I wonder if maybe I just have to, like... Oh, that door over there's open. not locked. Well, I think that's where I came in. No, you came from... Uh... That way. That's where you came in from. This one here? Yeah. Yeah. But there's a door behind you. Yeah, but I think this one only opens with the statue, doesn't it? Oh. So, okay, so why does it have the glowing thing on there? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe it started glowing as like, hey, I'm here, idiot. <laughs> maybe I never needed to use this statue for any of the others. <laughs> Imagine a Zelda dungeon where you don't need to solve puzzles. <laughs> it, like, tricks you into doing it because you're so used to it. Yeah, like, it still has eyes over all the doors and everything. Torches everywhere. <laughs> it's like a reverse, though. Like, you hit the eye and it locks the door. <laughs> and I, I kind of like the idea of, like, you do all the puzzles and it does open everything, but you just never needed to. <laughs> yeah. You just walk right in the door. Nice. Yeah. That was on purpose. Just a bomb. A bomb? <laughs> Get out of there. Just a bomb, I say, in the airport line. <laughs> There's a podcast I listen to where... They have a guest co-host every time, mm -hmm. and the guest on this one, they had to record the episode late because their flight had to make an emergency landing because some comedian thought it was a good idea to, in the airplane bathroom, write, I have a bomb on the mirror. Oh my god. So the plane had to land and everybody had to be questioned and it was this whole ordeal. <laughs> and I can't help but sit there and like, what goes through people's heads that they think there's no consequences for something like that? Because as, yeah. as far as this co-host guy knows, they, they did catch the guy. Mm. And it's like, that's probably jail time. Unless you were like 10 years old. Yeah. But like, what 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 were you thinking to, <laughs> to do that? <laughs> yeah, because like, I mean, that's essentially just making a threat. Yeah. Okay, so how do I... 
I think you can pick him up and throw him. Oh, okay. You just can't under this platform. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, just spike it right into there. <laughs> okay, I'll trust you a second time. <laughs> Everybody gets one. <laughs> Okay, time to toss you, buddy. <laughs> I trust you, Link. Oh, dang. oh my god. I peed a little. <laughs> I didn't even know statues could do that. Oh. Okay, so, like, do I just need to throw it from a different spot? Can you, can you maybe, like, jump the ledge while holding him? Maybe. I, I wouldn't think so in terms of like the weight, but yeah, that might be the Zelda solution. <laughs> okay, I'll trust you a third time. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Link, you don't know what it's like down there. <laughs> you might think it's some sort of sh sunshine and rainbows sex dungeon, <laughs> but nope. <laughs> It's just a depressing sex dungeon. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get ready to jump! Oh. <laughs> I, my finger slipped. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I failed my new best friend! <laughs> my newest customer! <laughs> I was gonna get that stone stoned. <laughs> you dropped him, didn't you? <laughs> Who? <laughs> My best friend, <laughs> Stony. <laughs> you mean my best friend? <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> well, not now that you dropped him. Now he's dead. <laughs> he was a living statue, but now he's a dead statue. <laughs> like all the rest. Now yeah, is this... Okay, it is still going. I think I figured out what you're supposed to do for that. Yeah, I think I, like, I just had to kind of hug the edge. Well, I, I think that he... It, it spins in a clockwise motion, so I think if you run in a clockwise motion around the room, you have a larger gap of time before it sees you. Hmm. Well, but, like, it... Like, it wasn't even so much that it was getting me halfway through running around the room. It was, like, as soon as I stepped within range. Hmm. It was to your right. Oh, right. No, left! <laughs> <laughs> Shock me when you're about to get bombed. <laughs> but your bombing shocked me. <laughs> okay. See you later, buddies. <laughs> I heard Stoney's down there. <laughs> He's our best friend. <laughs> He always hosts the best orgy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. We've had some good times, haven't we, Stone? <laughs> Only you can fix the Mathra trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So it must be that you have to throw him, but I don't see... Yeah, because I was, like, right on the edge before. Because it, it might be a case where it's, like, if you're standing on the orange, he'll land on the orange, and maybe you had a funny angle, but... It, maybe. I don't know. I think that's about as close as I dare to get. <laughs> no. Nope. Huh. Okay. Watch, it's just gonna be like the simplest thing you could possibly imagine. It, it, it absolutely is. Read that thing again, did it say anything about it? Mm. Guide me to my place of truth, okay. I mean, I know the place of truth is in that room where the boss door is. Yeah. I remember he does a thing when you get him in there. Hmm. <laughs> you you okay, Bamboni? <laughs> okay, I thought maybe I could like kind of sidle around that pillar there, but you're not gonna drop me again, right? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> You can't pick him up under the... Yeah... I mean, like, the... Unless I can, like, get him over here... That doesn't seem right. No... It really seems like you just have to chuck him, but maybe there's some sort of stupid... Like... Extra hard throw you can do. Yeah... You can't, like, throw him up on top of the purple thing, can you? I don't think so, but... I mean, at least if I throw him here, he shouldn't fall. No, he just doesn't have the height. be thinking of a different dungeon. Oh. No. There's a there's a thing you can oh yeah I think it's a song. There's a song you learn that lets you like control things directly. Oh okay. I think it I don't remember if it's this dungeon but I that you learn it, but it's I don't think that's the solution to this. I didn't drop him that time. Fuck you, game facts. <laughs> I found a guide with pictures, and it literally just says, Guide the statue back to the room, and that's where you'll learn the command melody. <laughs> it's like, okay. This is the easiest puzzle in the dungeon. I, like, I have no doubt it's a stupid solution that's supposed to be really obvious. Yeah. 
Like, I really feel like it has something to do with just tossing him across. But it's not working. Can I... Yeah, I can jump. But so, I don't you... know, maybe I just need to, like, jump across holding him. But didn't you do that and you, like, let go mid-jump? Yeah, but I bumped the button. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Link. <laughs> What an adrenaline junkie. <laughs> yeah, I assumed that he did that automatically because he was like, oh, too heavy. No. I mean, he might also do that, but I think I hit the button by accident. Come here, boy. <laughs> We're going for a ride. And we're keeping our fingers well away from the face buttons this time. Oh yeah. my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the simplest puzzle. <laughs> Fucking finally! <laughs> Jesus Christ, all you gotta do is jump across the gap! <laughs> but you're so heavy, Stony. Screw you. I'm out of here. It's time to go now, Willy. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the boss room. Maybe I was thinking of that. Hmm. But apparently that's the song that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> There appear to be markings indicate specific directions! <laughs> Calm down, God. <laughs> you hold it. All right. You learned the command melody. Now everybody must take my orders. <laughs> my kin wait beyond the doors. Control them and guide them to their places of truth to open the path of the gods. Don't drop them. I told them about you. <laughs> I'm taking that away. <laughs> you don't deserve it. <laughs> I never want to hear you play any kind of music again. <laughs> you could drink your blue if you wanted. Oh yeah, actually that's probably a good idea. I mean, you're not exactly deep into the dungeon, but... <laughs> but I won't get there. <laughs> <laughs> Blues clues. Wow. I, where did I hear something? Apparently, instead of a notebook, now in Blues Clues they have like an iPad or something. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> he has a notebook. It's bright and green, and I had one when I was a kid. I mean, Steve had a notebook. Yeah, Steve. Steve hasn't been on the show for, for years now. Didn't they do, like, a movie where they, like, united all the hosts? <laughs> I... Maybe. Either that or you're getting Blue's Clues mixed up with Spider-Man. As you always do. <laughs> you mean Into the Spider-Verse? I... No, I mean, like, the last Spider-Man movie. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> With all the Spider-Men. <laughs> the last Marvel movie that anybody liked. I gotta Google that. I feel like I, I heard that. Blues, clues, Into movie. the Spider-Verse. <laughs> Blues Big City Adventure in 2022. Uh, is this what I'm thinking of? The events of the film take place after the original series and during the fourth season of Blue's Clues and You. The film follows Josh and Blue as they travel to New York City to audition for a Broadway musical. Huh. It stars Tracy Page Johnson as the voice of Blue alongside Josh Dela Cruz, Donovan Patton, and Steve Burns. 
Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess Steve was in it. Premise. Josh forgetting to bring his handy dandy notebook. And now Mr. Salt Tickety Talk and Slippery Soap must travel to New York City to find them with the help of Josh's cousins, Steve and Joe, Blue's previous companions. <laughs> so it's the Blue's Clues Avengers film. Huh. Why does the new host have a blue shirt? <laughs> it's supposed to be a green shirt. <laughs> no, that was Steve, man. It's a new age. No. Blue's Clues hosts. I gotta see how they fuck this shit up. <laughs> yeah, he's got a blue... The one in between them and a purple shirt? <laughs> it's chaos. It's... It is! The green contrasts with the blue. No, That's really. the point. Shut up, Rob. Purple contrasts more with green. <laughs> yeah, but they weren't on the show at the same time. Oh, you're right. I... <laughs> You know what the dumb thing is? Something in my brain is like, oh, Blue, the dog. He's green. <laughs> blue, the no, green if, dog. If they ch changed the color of Blue, but kept the name Blue, <laughs> I would be furious. <laughs> How's it going, Blue, and this purple little cartoon dog? <laughs> so what the hell am I supposed to do here? I don't know. I'm mad at Blue's Clues. <laughs> Like, I, okay, purple, fine. It's too close to the color of blue, so it doesn't contrast very well, but whatever. But a blue shirt on blue's clues. The point is to have as many contrasting colors as you can. <laughs> Fuck you, whatever your name was, not Steve. Oh, there it is. Okay, back to Zelda. <laughs> I was right, there was a movie. <laughs> I don't think you can kill those without the arrow. Okay. And... So I'm assuming I need to get like something on that light over there. That probably makes a bridge show up, but like is there a way around then? Hmm. Oh, try the leaf. I think the leaf can knock flying things out of the sky. Oh. Maybe when you kill them, it's like a. <laughs> you know the noise that Link makes. Yeah. Oh, knocked it out of the sky. Look up. Those. You gotta swing on your grappling hook. Oh, right. I do have a grappling hook. <laughs> I see. I was looking at those. Like, do I need to, like, break them with the boomerang or something? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> While I was sitting here screaming about Blue's Clues. <laughs> Damn, you guys are struggling with clue finders. <laughs> Talking about Blue's Clues? Will they miss obvious cues? <laughs> <laughs> so... There's a door behind you. You probably get a statue in there. Oh, you're probably right. So wait, did you say they, the notepad's now like an iPad? That That's what, I mean, I, is it I at least seen it firsthand. Is that's it at least still green? I have no idea. I mean, I, I have not, I've not sat down to like watch a new episode of Blue's Clues. Don't you fucking lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just last week, I was walking downtown <laughs> and I saw you in a Blue's Clues themed Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Which sounds awesome. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can control. There's one of those right up there. Do you have to, like, get next to him? I thought I was. No, I mean, like, oh, hit ZR. Come on! Oh, okay. Now you can probably command him. Hmm. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I think I just need to put them here. Yep. 
You hit the wrong button and throw him. <laughs> he was right about you. <laughs> this is it. Now. Oh, I see. So, yeah, I need to get over here and then get him over here. But if he walks off the thing, the bridge will disappear. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Okay. Link needs to be the statue. <gasps> Link, be the statue. <laughs> Don't. Dong 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 dong. dong. <laughs> I thought you were about to jump off the edge. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> yeah. See you later, Link. ZR. Oh. And now you can swing back over there. Hooray! A bing bada boom bada bing! <laughs> Whose slogan is that? Uh, Eastside Mario's? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad the one that was buying me closed. Mm. No, the statue. Oh, right. I need to. Okay. <laughs> Statue? <laughs> I got scared, so I went home. <laughs> I'll of, get you. A lot of people dunk on uh, East Side Mario's, but I've always liked it. Yeah, it was pretty good the one time we went. But it used to be Holly and I's default, like, date night was go to East Side Mario's and then the movie theater. Mm -hmm. And then they closed that, or they closed that East Side Mario's. I stay, you go. The happiest movie of all time. <laughs> you know, that's another one I don't I think I've only ever seen it once. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I I remember liking it, I just have not seen it in a while. Was that Disney or was that like Don Bluth? Um that uh neither, I think I think that was like Fox. Although oh. it, it was Brad Bird before he joined Pixar. Let's see if Rob can get this statue where it needs to go this episode. Let's find out. Okay. So. Stay here. I would put him on the platform. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Shut up, boat. <laughs> I'm figuring things out. Because given that there's an eye there, I bet you threw that door as the bow and arrow. Mmm, and that's probably gonna be, like, what causes the bridge to appear. Yeah. <clears throat> if I was a betting man... <laughs> which I'm not, I'm just a gambling addict. <laughs> This seems safe. <laughs> the sound they make when they wake up. <laughs> it's a dark nut! <gasps> you don't have your sword out. Quite I enough. don't need it! <laughs> That's why you're not rolling. I'm gonna strangle him! <laughs> Fuck you! That was my best shirt! <laughs> well, it looks like shit. Ow! Oh, why would you insult my shirt like that? Ow, ow! And then you eviscerate me! <laughs> God, you piece of- Oh, God! You're putting me against the wall! <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? I learned this strategy fighting an old man! <laughs> 
It's a shame that when I beat up that old man, he didn't pop out some treasure. <laughs> Bow. Well, maybe Rob will shoot a giant eyeball next time. Where? Your own eyeball. It's time. <laughs> it's time for a Christmas story. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Everybody's favorite movie! Ooh. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs>